my friends. Welcome to the What's on the Makeup Chat. I'm so excited to be back in the chat. Oh my goodness. I feel like it's been like a year. I know it's only been like a month, but I feel like it's been a year. Like, I miss you guys so much. I'm so glad we're back. And I'm excited to be back on a topic where it's very, it's going to be very community driven because I have one kind of skin. It looks very oily right now, but I promise it's really not. I don't know why I'm so shiny. Like, it's crazy. I guess maybe it's a little warm in here. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be very community-driven because I only have one type of skin. And there's going to be like a hundred and some people in here. And everybody's got different skin. And everyone has different experiences. So we're going to all work together to talk about some of the best products for people of all different skin types. We're gonna start off with my skincare routine, products that I've tried. We'll talk a little to the collective brain and then we'll go into all of the different skin types and we'll have the collective brain suggest products for everybody. And I'm telling you, if you have never gotten advice from the collective brain, if you've never been to the Facebook page, if you've never been to the app, which will be linked down below, if you've never done any of those things, you are in for a treat, I'm telling you, because they are some of the smartest people on the entire of the internet, so I'm telling you. So anyway, let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna close my door real quick because I forgot that, I forgot to close my door and my son's left. So, right back, hold on a second. All right, door closed. That way we can have a little privacy in here, just me and you guys. And I'm gonna sip, ooh, have a sip of my coffee. I have a very sophisticated mug today because we're having a very sophisticated skincare talk right now. Mm. Is that dripping? What is going on here? All right. Let me go ahead and go over to the collective brain of makeup awesomeness. Hopefully, I didn't just minimize something that I can't get back. We'll see what I just did. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out my MacBook Pro. I just had to rebuy it because if you if you didn't see the vlogs, I had all of my electronics stolen while I was on my trip. So I'm I have to redo everything on this MacBook on the newer MacBook Pro. Thankfully, insurance covered it. But all right, let me go ahead and scroll up. But anyway, learning curve is happening here. All right, Julia was here first. Hi, Julia. Stephanie is here. Excited to have you here. And Liz is here. And let's see. And other Steph is here. Steph Albers is here. And Steph Moderator is here. <laughs> Steph Zilla. Tabitha is here. Elise is here. Good morning. I got my coffee. You got your coffee. Hi, Grady. Good to see you. Nancy is here. Good morning. And Nancy, mwah. And uh, Leanne is here that I met in Indianapolis. Hello, hello. And Kyla is here and Jennifer is here. First chat for Jennifer. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Christy. Glad to be back. Hello, Malia and Alicia. Alicia, maybe Alicia. I'm going to say Alicia and hope that I'm right. Uh, happy back live chat. I missed it so much. I missed it too. Good morning, Ellen and Cheyenne and Jada and Sabrina, the makeup mom. Go check out her YouTube channel, Leslie and Patricia and Jillian and Melanie and Toby. All right, I got to keep going. All right. Let me scroll down because I could say hi to everybody, but it will take me like half an hour. All right. So hello all. Thank you, Cherish. Says she loved my vlogs. Thank you so much, Cherish. Um, and <laughs> Jen's here. Lila, Lila, Lila. Jen I met in Salt Lake City, and she's uh, bonded with my daughter, Lila. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the... Skincare. So, as you may have known, I did a sponsored video for Paula's Choice, I don't even know how long ago. It was a little while ago. It wasn't that long ago. So, I'm still using a lot of the Paula's Choice skincare. They are not sponsoring this video. They don't know that I'm mentioning their products again. This is just truly what I am using. So, oh, thank you, Grady, for loving the vlogs. I appreciate it. They went, oh, I'm so glad you liked them. If you haven't seen the vlogs, they're actually pretty interesting because it's traveling across the country, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let me make sure I'm still squared up okay because I moved my computer a couple times. Okay, still squared up. We're good. All right. So let me show you what I use. So let's start with morning routine. So morning routine, uh, washing the face happens sometimes. Sometimes doesn't happen in the morning. I feel like when I wash my face, at least with my skin type, if I wash my face too much, it dries out. And I feel like that's not good for my wrinkles because 
anytime you're drying your face out more, I feel like maybe it's just my thinking in my brain. I don't know if it's real or not, but I feel like I'm going to get more wrinkles if my face is drier. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. I feel like that the moisture is going to keep the wrinkles away. I don't know. But people with oily skin get wrinkles too. I don't know. But anyway, I don't wash my face every single morning, but I do wash it at night. Um, but morning routine, sometimes I use the, it's called the Resist Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser by Paula's Choice. This is for normal oily and combination skin. I have normal skin. Um, so I use this first. And then after that, I use their toner. This is the Advanced Replenishing Toner. And I do really like this toner. And, you know, I know you're supposed to use a cotton pad on your face. Sometimes I'm just too lazy, and I just put it a little bit on my hand, and I just splash it all over my face. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. Again, I just do things my own way, and it's probably a logic why you can't, but that's what I do. So um, so I use this. Uh, Vicki says, me too. Everything is like after cleansing skin, like I can't. <laughs> um, Elizabeth says she uses that at night and um, Emily says I wash my face twice a day I have oily to combo skin yeah I really think that it has to do with your skin type too um, so anyway so this is what I use I use this toner afterward and then I use this one this is the resist intensive wrinkle repair retinol serum this stuff feels really oily on the face um, I've gotten used to it I'm actually starting to like uh, acquire the feeling like how hey, you have to acquire taste I'm acquiring like that oily feeling like I don't mind it as much as I used to before I started using this um, so yeah I'm actually kind of enjoying this now it feels kind of good at the end of the day to just really hydrate um, but it does feel oily so if you don't like oily you won't like this uh, and then I use the Resist Skin Firming Line Minimizer. I feel like this has been the one that really, truly made a difference. This and this that I'll talk about in a second. Like this stuff, it's kind of pricey for Polish Choice. I think it's like $40, which is a lot for Polish Choice. Um, Polish Choice stuff isn't super expensive considering like the ingredients and stuff they use. And again, this is not sponsored. This is just me from my own experience. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, do you guys recommend that teenagers use cleansers every morning? We'll talk about that. Um, I'll, we'll ask that in a minute. Hold on a minute. Lose my train of thought here. All right. <laughs> you guys, chat it up. Have fun. <laughs> in the chat, we'll get back. So, um, so, yeah, so this comes out like a serum, and it comes out out of this little thing, and I just kind of pat this onto my wrinkles. I also pat it onto my neck because I'm getting some neck wrinkles here. And I go like this and like this and a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit in the middle, a little bit over here. And I really feel like this makes a big difference because if I don't use this, I can really tell over a couple of days that I haven't been using this. So I think it's one of those you got to keep using it. This I use once or twice a week. This one is also pretty awesome. This is to resist uh, weekly resurfacing treatment with 10% AHA. Um, I use this at night. Um, I use the toner, and then I put this on my face after the toner. And it does sting a little bit in places sometimes. It's an exfoliator, um, and it does kind of give, I didn't notice this when I did the video, um, the sponsored video, but this really does have sometimes, it can feel a little prickly sometimes, which is a little bit weird. Um, but I do feel like it makes a big difference that I, when I don't use this, like when I was on my road trip, I didn't use this at all. And I definitely was like, oh my gosh, like, ooh, my face. So, um, so yeah, definitely saw a difference when I didn't use this. So I use this. Um, and that's really all I've been using for my night routine. And I hate that it's all the sponsored stuff, but I'm just, I can't tell you it's something else just to try to fit it in, you know, <laughs> like just to make it look like I'm not still using it. You know what I mean? But I, I that's what I use. Um, Mirelli says, um, it's never too early to start good skincare, especially in your teens. You don't need as many products. Yep, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's, I feel the same way. I feel exactly same way. I shouldn't say that's true, but that's my opinion as well. Um, so morning routine products that I use. Uh, let's see. So I do, sometimes, like I said, I wash my face. Sometimes I don't. Um, just, I don't know. And then I use the toner. And then I use the Resist Daily Smoothing Treatment with AHA um, for normal to dry skin. If I... Um, if I'm using a BB cream that day, if I know I'm going to use a BB cream, I don't use any kind of sunscreen because the BB cream has the sunscreen in it. But if I don't think, if I know specifically I'm not using anything with sunscreen in it, I'll also put on, throw on a sunscreen. Um, I have one in my drawer. It's just like a generic sunscreen. It's not like anything magical or anything that I need to show you. But um, but yeah, this stuff is um, is very nice as well, and it's kind of similar to this. Like it's a daily exfoliator. 
I don't know whether this is what's making a huge difference, but I think that it's good. You know what? That's not true because there was a period of time where I stopped using this and I started seeing a little bit of a difference. So, I mean, it's all supposed to be like a system. So, yeah, there was a time when I stopped using this now that I'm thinking about it because I was getting lazy in the mornings and not doing anything in the mornings, like at all, like nothing, like wake up, brush my teeth, go kind of thing. <laughs> And I did start noticing a little bit of a difference in my wrinkles. So maybe that was this. Maybe it was just not doing anything in the mornings. I don't know. But, yeah. So I like this one. And then I've been using, for moisturizer in the morning, I've been using the Clinique Pep Start. This is the Hydro Blur Moisturizer. I got sold this at Sephora at the VIB Rouge event at the beginning of the summer season. They had just an event. It was just to announce new products. There was no sale or anything. It was just to announce new products. And this is something they sold me on. It is really hydrating, like really hydrating, super hydrating. Oh my gosh. Like in your face feels like it's, it doesn't dry down. Like it doesn't seep in really, really well. Um, but it feels good. It just doesn't seep in. So if you like your, your moisturizer to kind of go in and be done, mm -mm. if you need something that's really hydrating, this is, this is going to be for you. I don't really see the hydro blur on my skin but I don't have super problem skin either. So maybe someone with bigger pores would find this to be better as far as the hydro blur effect. Um, it doesn't blur on me. I don't know. Anya says, does it blur? Not on me. I don't know. Um, so somebody had asked me, oh, Sunday Riley. I actually tried when I went to that VIB Rouge thing, I tried the blue drops, the something oil, um, and it was weird. It was really weird. I don't know if it did anything. I just used it for like two weeks. Pretty religiously, I used it for two weeks. But it's really hard on my skin to see any differences because my skin isn't super problematic. So that's why I'm not like reviewing it or anything. I think that it's just me that I can't really see a lot of difference in a lot of different things. The only problem I really have is the anti-aging thing. And I've got so much going on with all this Polish Choice stuff, it's difficult to see whether the Sunday Riley was actually doing anything. Or if I stopped using the Polish Choice and started using the Sunday Riley, whether that would have made a difference to be able to actually see something. So, um, But it was the blue drops. I forget exactly what that's called, the blue little droppy things. Um, and it was just a sample. I'm not going to buy the full size. So it's like $150 or something crazy. It's crazy how expensive that stuff is. Um, so that is my morning routine. That's all I do in the morning. Um, I do want to show you some other products that I've used in the past, but before, no, yeah, let me just show you. We'll get through my stuff and then we'll get to the collective brain. Um, cause usually the bet, yeah, maybe the Luna oil, that might be it on you. That might be it. Um, and Deborah says she uses Algenis for anti-aging. Let's take a second and just talk about the best anti-aging products while we're talking about anti-aging and then we're going to do combo skin, oily skin and dry skin, um, as we go. So let's talk about, let's hear from the collective brain about your favorite anti anti-aging products that you use. Um, Toby says the um, the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I don't know if you're recommending it or if you're identifying it because I think you're right in identifying that that was what I was talking about. Um, Alexandra says she uses those Sunday, um, Sunday Riley Luna Oil and she does like it. Um, Sabrina says from the Makeup Mom says Polish Choice has really helped out my pores and I've heard wonderful things about Polish Choice for all skincare and that's not the sponsored side I promise you it's not I'm just speaking. Um, Kyla says none because there's a lot of younger people that watch the videos that don't really do the anti-aging stuff. I didn't do the anti-aging stuff till I hit 35. So this might be why I've gone. Mm. Megan says, hi, Megan. Megan says, I love philosophy. I've been using the anti-wrinkle miracle worker. Nice. Francesca says, at what age do you recommend starting the anti-aging products? I am not a skincare guru, but I would imagine from the things that I've read that you should start as soon as possible. I mean, I feel like I don't know. I feel like the stuff where it's like targeted wrinkle stuff should be the first time you see a wrinkle. You know, if you see a wrinkle, start the wrinkle stuff. But you should be doing skincare. I feel like people should be doing skincare from from the jump. From you know, sixteen maybe start doing. Whenever you start seeing skin changing, fifteen maybe start doing like a face wash and a moisturizer kind of thing. That's when I'm going to start Lila on it. It's like about fifteen maybe fourteen. Uh, let's see. Deborah says, 
Let's see. Deborah says the night mask splash is super hydrating and feels good on your skin. Good morning, Mandy. How are you? Um, Glitter M says ROC from the drugstore is great for anti-aging. Fantastic. Christy says Ole Hendrickson. I always say that wrong. Is great. Elizabeth says start using anti-aging projects as soon as you start buying your own products, not your parents. Oh, that's a good good thing. Kyla's Kyla's fifteen. I don't know about anti-aging for or you think that you should you started at fifteen. Megan says start anti-aging. In your early to mid 20s. I wish I'd started earlier. About to turn 32, and the wrinkles are like Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh no. Gabby yeah, says, I really like Beauty DNA subscription box. $25 a month, get skincare of your own from your own skin concerns. I've gotten great brands for my 50-year-old skin. Grady says, I'm so bad about skincare. I do zero anti-aging. The one good thing is I am good at a sun protection. Good for you. That's your anti-aging, girlfriend. You're doing it. Vicky says, I'm 29, just started noticing fine lines, just started anti-aging stuff. Nice. Patricia says, I do enjoy the oils. I'm 33, and I do feel the same moisture back into my skin. Nice. Jada said, is 15 too young to start anti-aging products? I don't think that it's like it's I don't think it's gonna hurt you know it's not like it's gonna do anything bad I don't think it's gonna be a bad thing is it necessary I don't know I don't think it'll be bad Francesca says I have a skincare routine I'm thinking about adding in some anti-aging stuff nice and Leslie says skincare should start at puberty when hormones start affecting the skin good point and Anya says belief aqua bomb hydrates so well gets rid of fine lines and Julie says she started at age 28 and now she's 51 and she barely has a wrinkle there you go Julie, let's go with Julie. <laughs> Patricia says, I think the anti-aging agent is sunscreen when you're younger in your 20s. Yeah, I agree. All right, let me go into some of these other products that I have. Another line I want to talk about, I know it's a little bit pricey, but it's I really like this line a lot. It's the Tate Tata. I would say this wrong. Tata Harper. I got this Daily Essentials nat Natural Anti-Aging Discovery Kit when I was at the Birchbox shop a while back, and I'm like holding on to Yes, because the products at full size are so expensive. But this is a really nice line. It's a lot of natural, um, it's a lot of natural uh, ingredients and it smells really good. It smells very fresh and citrusy. And I really, really like it a lot. Um, so there's the rejuvenating serum in here, the hydrating floral essence. This is a spray. I'm gonna spray something on my face. Oh, 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 is, is it gonna come out? Is it broken? I mean, oh, there we go. All right. Because you guys know how much I love spraying stuff on my face. It smells so fresh and clean, and it makes me actually not hate putting things on my face. Because it just feels so good. Oh, my gosh. That feels really good. All right. Here is the Replenishing Nutrient Complex. Um, I haven't used this stuff in a while. So I don't really remember a whole lot about it. I just remember really loving it. The resurfacing mask. And then this is the rejuvenate, regenerating cleanser. I remember really, really liking the cleanser a lot. And I remember really, really liking the serum a lot. They also had an eye cream. They just gave a little tiny pack. But I remember really liking the eye cream a lot. Um, and they sell it like this because it's supposed to be like a system. Um, and I did use it as a system for a while. Um, but this was like, I don't know, a while ago. I want to say at least six months ago. So it's been a while since I've dipped into this stuff. I've mostly been focusing on the Paul's Choice stuff, but I love this line. Love it. Um, all right. So Tay Tay Harper is another. Tata. Tata Harper is another one. Uh, another one that I wanted to show you, another line that's really good. They actually sent me these. I had reviewed, I got a Key West Aloe product in a subscription box, and I loved it. I got this. This was the Gentle Fla Facial Cleanser. It's a very lemony scented product. I, re I compared this kind of to the Sookie, the S-U-K-I, um, like the scrub. The scrub is very, very similar in scent. If you've ever tried that one, it's very lemony fresh, but it's like a scrub. And if you don't like the scrub, then I would recommend the Key West Aloe one. Um, and again, this was sent to me, so just so you know. Uh, but I didn't know they were going to send it to me. They just saw that video, and they were like, hey, we saw you like our products. Try these out. Um, so they gave me a full size of this, and they also gave me the um, the Marine mask. I did this with Lila one night. We had the best time. My skin felt really good afterward. And you guys know I'm not a big mask person, but I did really enjoy this. So this is another line you might want to check out is Key West Aloe. Um, really enjoy their products. Uh, let's see. This was one that did not work for me. This is the Glow Therapeutics Gentle Cream Cleanser. Oh, this did not work for me. This actually, um, 
I would use this and then I would use a little bit of Bioderma afterward and I still had tons of dirt on my face after I used this. It says that it's for sensitive skin, um, so this did not work for me at all. Um, so what I've been using this for is I keep it in my makeup room and then when I do swatches, I put it on my hand and I rub it real hard with a paper, with a, um, paper towel, with my towel and it gets off makeup swatches really well. But I have to like rub, you know, like the way I don't want to rub my face, but I can rub my hand that way, you know what I mean? But it wasn't getting off like with a splash, it was not getting off dirt and oils and, and makeup and stuff. It just wasn't doing it just with a splash of water. I think you'd have to really get a towel or something to scrub in order for it to work. So I don't really like doing that to my face, so I'm going to use this for my hand instead for swatches. Um, uh, Kathy says she loves Key West Aloe. Nice. Megan says, I heard good things about Pixie Glow Tonic. Has anyone actually seen a difference? I haven't. Expensive for a Target brand. Interesting, Megan. Very interesting. Sabrina says, what do you think of the Melt Makeup Removers? Do they work well? I Oh, are, oh, you know what? I should have brought some out. Are you talking about like the little cans? The little tins with the stuff in it? Oh my goodness, how did I not bring those in here? Um, I think this is what you're talking about. I use the um, the one from the balm. It's called oh, what's it called? Now I can't even remember what it's called. Like it's like slipped out of my head. But the the tin from the balm. It's like an oil inside, and you use it to remove makeup. Really, really like that one a lot. Um, but it does like it's made out of relatively inexpensive oils. Um, but it, the fact that it's in a tin and it works, like I'm cool with it. They, it, but I do feel like it's kind of overpriced for the ingredients that are in there. And then Sarah, who I met in Kansas city gave me one from the body shop. It's like a chamomile one. Really like that one a lot. The only thing about the chamomile one from the body shop is it does have a scent to it. So if you don't like scented products on your face, you're not going to like it, but it's really good time bomb. Thank you. There is, it is, it's called time bomb something Megan, but there's like more to it than time bomb. It's something else. Um, but yeah, I really like those for taking makeup off. Absolutely. I like the like balmy things. Um, Cheryl says she's been trying cleansing oils. Um, I do have a cleansing oil that I want to talk about. This is the Josie Marin one. Uh, this is the Argan Cleansing Oil. I do like this, but it's definitely not my favorite formula because, again, I don't really like the feeling of oil on my face that much. I'm just starting to get used to it. Um, so, yeah. Mm, it works, but it's just the texture is a little weird for me. Um, Carla says the product from the balm works as well as coconut oil, in my opinion. You know what I did, Carla, is I put the coconut oil the one on one side, and I put the I put coconut oil on one side and the balm on the other side, and they did the exact same thing. But this was the thing: is the coconut oil felt gross to me, like I, I just felt really slimy and bleh and just very oily and yucky. So texture wise, I like the balm one better. But you're right. They do the same thing. Totally agree with you. Totally agree. Liz says, that, uh, um, I was olive, I use olive oil to take off eye makeup, including waterproof mascara. Nice and super cheap. Nancy says, regardless of your skincare products, I would try to use a milky cleanser like Glossier. Glossier, is that how you say it? First as a face wash. Interesting, Nancy. Good to know. Good to know. I don't think I've ever used a milk cleanser. Um, Toby says Tatcha cleansing oil is great. Fantastic. Kay says I love cleansing oils, but I always double cleanse. Maybe that would work, Kay. Maybe that would work for me. How are you, Kay? How's the radio show going? It's good to see you, Kay. <laughs> Very good to see you. I, I want to come back on your radio show one day. That would be awesome. Hopefully it's going well. She has a podcast. Um, and if I, if Kay, put it, put it in the description after the video is over so people can check out your podcast. I'm glad you're good. Um, double cleanse. I guess what she means by double cleanse is she does the oil and then she washes the oil off as well. Um, Leslie says she uses coconut oil to take eye makeup off. And then um, Sabrina says she didn't like the Josie Marin stuff. Wow. Uh, Tiffany says she loves the purity cleanser and Anne says double cleanse at night. Uh, Patricia says, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, the oils are kind of yuck at the beginning, so I did a night. I did, so I did only at night going to bed like a slime ball, ha ha, but I used less of it and got the same results. Nice. Okay. Um, yay, Kay. All right, Leslie says I use a combo of micellar water and a cure coconut water makeup remover wipes to take off face makeup. Nice. Hi from Oregon. Hi to Oregon, Elizabeth. Hello. Leslie says the gentle face wash. 
Uh, Kathy says she loves purity too. Hi, Anne. How are you, Anne? Good to see you. Um, all right, so let me go into a couple of more things and then we'll talk about different skin types. Let me see, do I have anything else? Oh, I want to talk a little bit about these little, um, little cloth things. I got this. This is called Glove, G-L-O-V. It's www.glov.me. I got this in glossy box, I want to say, and it's kind of like the, um, the makeup eraser, but it's in a little finger glove form, and it works. It definitely works. It's kind of weird that you just use your finger. It's kind of odd, but it's nice that it's kind of targeted that you can kind of go like this. And then what I do to clean it is just after I'm done, I take a little hand soap and I just go like this and run it in the water and I clean it and it's done. And I feel like that's really nice to be able to just clean it really quickly with a little bit of hand soap. Um, so I do like that better than the makeup eraser. I personally really like my makeup eraser a lot. I misplaced it for a really long time. I just found it again and I'm so excited. It does really work. Are there things that are cheaper? Can you just get a microfiber towel from the store probably I haven't personally tried it I've heard from people that I trust that say that it does work just as well but I haven't tried it it would be a good video the makeup eraser versus a uh, microfiber towel from the dollar store and see which one removes better I don't think I've ever seen a video like that I pick a video mental note um, but yeah I really do like these things I think they work great so I don't know what your experience is with these but they work great for me I really like them a lot um, oh, and then the last thing I wanted to show you was this. This is, I got this off Birchbox Shop. This is the Liz Earl Naturally Active Skin Care. This is the Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. And you have to use one of their claws or it doesn't work. Like I found like the splash and go, like, you know, put it on, splash it off. It doesn't, it's the same thing as the Glow Therapeutics. Like you have to really use one of their um, claws. And it does come with claws when you get it. Um, but I found this, I liked it when I first got it. I actually got a sample of it and then I ended up buying a full size but the more I use it the more I realize what a pain in the butt it is so I stopped using it but it is more gentle like if you like a gentle cleanser then this is nice too um, Francesca says she loves it and I heard I know a lot of people love this but do you find that it's a pain that you have to use a claw for it um, Deborah says that's how I clean my makeup eraser because I use a fabric softener in my machine. Oh, so she always you always use hand soap. Interesting. Um, Annie says I'm just gonna call you Annie. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Sending good vibes from Vancouver, Canada. So happy you're back. Oh, thank you. My kids are obsessed with going to Canada because Shannon Quinn, who's in the community, sent them Kinder eggs, and now they want to go to Canada so they can buy. A, I told them if we ever go to Canada, they can buy a whole box of Kinder eggs. So it's like a thing now. So when we have a Vancouver meetup. We're going to hang out. <laughs> Growing, Graveling Cheetah says, so happy to see you home and safe and sound. I love your vacay vlogs. They keep me great company through my chemo treatments. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful that they're keeping you company. I'm sorry you have to go through chemo treatments. Ugh, 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 ugh. But I'm glad that they can kind of ease the pain a little bit. I'm so sorry, girlfriend. But I'm glad I can help a little bit. Um, Cake Girl Scott, is there a difference between a micellar water and a toner? Yes. Micellar water, for me, this is my thoughts off the top of my head. The, the point of a toner, this is another toner I was going to show you. This is the Indy Lee. I was using this before I got the Polish Choice stuff, and this is another really great toner. The point of a toner is that it's supposed to kind of bring your pH balance back to normal. So when you clean your face, how you sometimes get that like dry feeling on your face, this is supposed to bring the pH back and um, so that your face feels like normal, so you don't have um, especially dry skin or especially oily skin. It's supposed to like bring your pH back. Where micellar water, I find for me, I mean, this could be totally wrong. This is my in my brain not being a skincare person. So please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the Bioderma is is the micellar water that I use. This is more of like a cleanser. It's a very 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 gentle cleanser. So they definitely have different. Um, different purposes, even though they can look very similar, they both look very watery, so I can see where you would make the association that they may be, be for the same purpose, but from my understanding, it's totally different. Yeah, Tiffany says, toner balances, micellar uh, cleanses, micellar water is a cleanser. Yeah, there you go. So I am right, yay, you <laughs> good. I, and sometimes I hesitate to answer certain questions because I don't want to be wrong, but you know, everybody's wrong sometimes. Uh, let's see, Paula wants to know, has anyone tried the uh, law? 
L-A-C-U-R-A line from all these. The facial wash and night cream are fantastic. Interesting. Growling cheetah says, cheetah says, thank you. Love you to bits. I'm also from Canada, Montreal. Yay. I'd love to send some kids to the kids some Kinder Eggs. Oh, my gosh. They're obsessed. They're absolutely obsessed. Um, let's see. What else? My, Kay says micellar water is a cleanser. Yes. Anne says micellar water is good for first cleanse and take off makeup. Yes. Bioderma is better than jet... Oh no, something happened with your with your keyboard, Toby. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I can't decode it. Um, Kim says, welcome home, Jen. Thank you so much. Leanne says, I've just been using micellar water in the mornings. My skin's doing great. It really is fantastic, micellar water. Krista says, I can never find Bioderma anywhere, so I just buy the simple micellar water instead. Do you like it, Krista? I've heard really good things. I've heard the Garnier is fantastic, too. Yeah, Toby says the Garnier and Bioderma, hands down. Bioderma is the bomb, Kay says. I agree. Elizabeth says, toners can balance or, hydra um, or hydration. I use a hydrating toner from Phytomer. Phytomer. Steph's voting for Bioderma. Steph's voting for Bioderma. You can get Bioderma at Beautylish. That's very true. Um, Jenna says, oh, I missed you too, Jenna. Jackie says, toners break you out. Really? Toners break you out? Wow. I wonder if there's anybody else that toners break them out. I've never heard that before. Blinky says she's also in Canada. Yay, Blinky's in Canada. I live near Canada, check up there on the, for the Bioderma. I'll always have to grab extra for friends. Nice. Leanne says she uses the simple brand. Nice. Um, <laughs> my, my nail back down, background is slay. Thank you. I need to go through my nail polishes and make sure that they're all still good. I'm sure some of them aren't good anymore. I keep my stuff way too long. Way too long. Oh, there's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Because we're at 1036. There's one other thing I want to talk to you guys about. And then we got to go into different skin types specifically. All right. Toner. Speaking of toners, I was using this for a while. This is the apple cider vinegar with the mother by Bragg. I was using this on my face as a toner. It smells atrocious. It smells really, really bad, like really bad. And it stays on your skin. Like if you sleep in a bed with someone else, you may want to skip this because they're going to be able to smell your face on the other side of the bed. <laughs> so just, you know, be aware. Be aware. As long as you're okay with that, you're in a secure relationship, we're good. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I've been using this, and it stings like a mother. Like, like a mother. Stings. Oh, my gosh. Feels terrible. But supposedly it's amazing. Supposedly it's fantastic. So I suffered through and I suffered through. I don't know. Oh, Leslie says she mixes it with purified water. See, that makes sense. I put it on like, put it on. Amanda wants to know if toners are a must. I feel like it depends on like your skin type. I would say it's a must for everybody. Krista says I don't use toners. I just use it all in one moisturizer instead. It works wonders for me. There you go. I think you have to do what's best for you. You know, um, what's best for your skin. I think you have to just try different things and see whether whether it makes a difference for you. I personally, did, I first when I first started using skincare stuff, like religiously, I didn't use a toner. And then when I started using it, I noticed that my skin felt better after cleansing when I used a toner. It just felt good to use it. So like it, it really felt like I didn't have that pulley sensation, like that dry feeling after I washed my face. Okay, Leslie says you have to mix it with purified water. Girlfriend, I used it like straight on my face for like two weeks. I was like, ouch, and it smells bad. Ouch. So I stopped using it. You can see how much I use, not very much. Um, but that's good to know. See, this is why I need you. This is why I need you to help me with that. But that's all I have on my table. So I want to go into talking a little bit about um, about different skin types. So let's go ahead and start since we're in the summertime. A lot of people are noticing oily skin. Let's start with oily skin. I want to hear from the community the best oily skin girl product. Then we'll do combo. Then we'll do dry. Um, and if we have time, we'll go into acne prone. And um, we already did anti-aging. So All right. Patricia says, ha, well, my husband already laughs, but they won't laugh so hard when they're forever young. I use a toner with vinegar, but smell goes away. Lotion P50 1970. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. So let's talk oily skin. Best products for oily skin. I'm waiting for the collective brain. Come on, collective brain. Give it to me, oily skin girls. <laughs> Still. Do, 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 do. They're all typing right now. <laughs> Cheryl says, I got the raw sauce. 
WTH do I do with it? I don't even know what that is. And then Elizabeth says she loves P50. I don't know what that is. I have to Google it. Oh, it's the name of the lotion toner, P50 1970. Interesting. I don't know. Lil Brie. Mm, crickets. I know, right, Kay? No, no, no suggestions for oily skin girls. Well, oh, here we go. Jenna says Shiseido Matte Face Lotion. Here we go. Christy says best oily skin moisturizer I have found is the Clinique Dramatically Different Gel for oily skin. It's amazing. Jessica says Paula's Choice has an amazing collection for us oily skin gals. There we go. It's coming now. It's coming. Paula says Paula's Choice hands down the best for my oily skin. I can't live without the Resist BHA. Anya says ladies who buy P50, do you buy it at, at Rescue Spa? Uh, Anne says the best so far is Shea Moisture Black Soap. Nice. I've heard great things about black soap. Um, Ellen says Corez makes a balancing rose moisturizer that's amazing for my skin when it gets oily in the summer. Maria says Witch Hazel. Uh, Sabrina, Paula's Choice has really helped out my oily skin. I believe they also have a matte primer. Julie, oily oil cleansers and oily skin calm down the oil production. Interesting. Krista says my sister has super oily skin and she uses First A Beauty Club label. She loves it. Elizabeth, uh, Paula's Choice is it's done wonders for me. I have breakouts in months, so it sounds like Paula's choice, man. And I didn't tell him to do this. I'm not. I'm not paying him for it. I promise. Um, Anya says belief aqua bomb for oily skin. Michelle, good morning, everyone. Hi, Michelle. Michelle's one of our reporters too. Good morning, uh, Paula's choice, no doubt from Michelle. Elizabeth says when my skin was super oily, I love the Stone Crop line from Eminence. Eminence, interesting. Jess says I mix ACV with witch hazel. Works great. Um, as a apple cider vinegar. There you go. ACV took me a second, but I got it. Leslie says I use green tea oil for my oily skin and in a little, uh, and in a little tea tree oil works great for my skin. Oh, when she adds in a little tea tree oil, it works great for her skin. Sarah says, Anya, I agree with the aqua bomb from belief. Jenna says belief aqua bomb is pretty good. And Kay says, I love belief aqua bomb. So we're learning lots of things. Whenever there's a lot of people agreeing on one thing, you can probably pretty much count on it. Wendy says drunk elephant, be hydra intensive hydration gel. Great for moisturizing oily skin without, uh, without goes greasy under foundation. Hey Jen, welcome back. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much. Cheyenne says, well, buying from Paula's choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Kay. Um, let's see. Anya says, I have a love hate relationship with Paula's Choice. LOL. Oh, no. Um, Leza says, Embryo Lisa's Ultra Matte Moisturizer is very good. And Nancy says, Labrie is L I B R I, is the way that she spells it. It's an awesome aloe based face cleansing, moisturizing acne company. Hashtag not sponsored. Thanks, Nancy. All right. So we've got lots of great things in there for oily skin gals. Let's go into combo skin gals. Women with combination skin. Some oily spots, some dry spots. I can't even imagine how difficult it must be to live with combination skin. Oh my goodness. What a pain in the tush. Nikki says, Hey, girl, just got on. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate it. So combo skin. Do I have anything else? No. I was making sure there wasn't anything else I had to talk about while we were waiting for the uh, the combo skin girls to chime in. Uh, let's see. I'm going to drink some coffee. I am so happy to be back on chat. Like, it's one of those things, like, you don't know what you got till it's gone kind of thing. Like, I missed you guys. I'm sitting there, like, in my tent at Yellowstone, and I was like, I want to go talk to my friends, and I can't. <laughs> it was so sad. All right, Anne says, Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer for Combo Skin is very good for oil and oily and combo skin. Anya says, Belief Aqua Bomb is still my vote for combo skin. Leanne says, Polish Choice. Nikki, I use Dove White Bar Soap. That's it. Sticking to simple, girlfriend. I hear you. Um, and then Francesca says, The Body Shop's Tea Tree Toner is amazing for my combo acne-prone skin. Kay says, The Becca Matte Primer, technically a makeup, I guess, is awesome for the oily parts. Fantastic. Nancy is also voting for the Belief Combo. I agree that it's great. Leanne, Paula's Choice works for me. Have y'all heard of that? LOL. <laughs> Mwah. Leanne and I got to spend a lot of time together in Indianapolis after my car got broken into. Leanne and a bunch of others got we all went out to dinner together and it was fantastic. So I got to spend lots of time with Leanne. Uh, Jenna says, I have combo. Uh, I use all all I think it's Ole Hendrickson, Sheer and Origins Energ Ener Energizing. Energizing. It's like the I forget how she they pronounce I think they have a different way that they pronounce it. But yeah, I'm with you. Oh no, I'm talking too long. I missed. Hold on, I missed, I missed. Hold on. Missed some things. Okay. Emily says T-Zone, aloes gel, and the rest of the face nux. 
Is that how you say that? N-U-X-E. Smoothing and moisturizing cream. Nice. Anne says Nature Republic aloe vera gel. Fantastic. Redheaded for trouble. I have combo skin. Myzen snail gel cream is amazing. Oh, it's got the snail stuff in it. That freaks me out. But I know that it's amazing, but it just freaks me out. And it's about $6 a tube. Nice. I heard the snail ingredient stuff is expensive, so that's wonderful. Hey, Barbara. Barbara says I never sat down to analyze my skin. Fantastic. That's awesome. I don't know. Like, I guess, I'm, you know, I didn't sit down and analyze my skin until I started making videos. Ellen says, for my combo skin, I love the Kate Somerville Clarifying Treatment Toner. Nice. Um, Ann says, Julie, I use it every day. It's awesome. Oh, man. Ann was the, let's see, Ann Weber. What was she talking about? Let me find Ann Weber. Ann Weber. What was she talking about? Oh, yeah. Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer is what she's talking about. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. There she is. Okay, Krista. In the summer, I'm a bit more of a combo skin type, and the only thing I change is using the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Pore Mud Mask three times a week. Works wonders for me. Tiffany Dawn, all about that Sunday Riley, good jeans, and the Luna Oil. Nice, Tiffany. Um, and then Kay says, Tiffany, yes, Luna forever. And Leslie says, Specifica Kale Detox Cleanser is great for oilier combo skin. Cheyenne says, Jen, the apple cider thing you showed, I looked up reviews on, and people are saying it's also a fat burner. I have heard that as well. Yes, there's a lot of things people use apple cider vinegar for. It's one of those Pinterest things, one of those, like, Pinterest hack things. I'm sure you can find, there's lots of, like, if you Google it, there's lots of uses for apple cider vinegar, especially the kind with the mother. That's supposedly the thing. Uh, Deborah says, Embryo Elise, thanks for bringing that up, Cheyenne. Deborah says, Embryo Elise makes a wonderful moisturizer for combo skin. It's called Late Cream Concentrate. Concentrate. Um, L-A-I-T. C R E M E con sen tree con sen tree. Leanne says, "Oh, I love you. I'm glad we got to spend a lot of time to uh, just not for the reason why. I know, but I am glad we got to spend time together in Los Angeles." Um, Deborah combo. What? <laughs> Sarah says, "Love the philosophy when hope is not enough serum helps the dry parts, firms and balances the face so well. Nice." And Susan says, "I agree with Tiffany on the Luna oil. Super expensive, but amazing." Francesca, the snail stuff. Oh no! What happened? I lost. Ah. Okay, there we go. Francesca says the snail, snail stuff creeps her out too. And Jackie says, "I'm dry everywhere, but the T zone." Nikki says, "Has anyone seen any commercials for the new?" I think. Oil of Olay Luminous Moisturizer. I'm guessing it's their take on the GG Moisturizer. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I don't watch a lot of TV, so I don't see that stuff. Um, Jess says, Old Hendrickson's Truth Serum, Paula Choices BHA 2% and BHA 9. Nice. Jenna says, I tone with Garnier. It helps balance. Nice. And Kay says, I've been trying the L'Oreal Revital Lift Moisturizer with SPF. It's awesome. Um, oh, no. Jada says, the video's paused. Hopefully, it's better now. What? Sarah says, Jess, yes, on the, P on the Polish Choice BHA 2%. Um, okay, it looks like somebody got here by accident. <laughs> Sorry for your luck. Um, Vicky says, philosophy when hope is not enough. Uh, plus nip, nip plus fabs dragon blood. Nice. Krista says, I like using apple cider vinegar for my hair. It makes it so soft. Leslie Johnson, uh, you can also put um, apple cider vinegar in your bath water to detox the skin and help sore muscles. Ooh. Cool. And Leza says, true about the apple cider vinegar being a fat burner. Ooh. Something about an iPod. Ooh, I'm like behind everybody. There we go. Tiffany says, my grandma would take a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar every day and never was heavy. I'm going to start bringing this stuff. I just went back to the gym yesterday. So as a girlfriend, I gained like 10 pounds over the past two months. I'm not big in any way, but I'm just not the way I like to be. <laughs> So, I went back to the gym. I've been eating too much chocolate is the problem. Uh, Deborah said, <laughs> let me see. Okay, uh, Jenna says, I used to drink apple cider vinegar twice a day for energy. Interesting. And Harumi says, hi, I'm late. Hi, guys. Hi. Deborah says, I had a typo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michelle, uh, apple cider vinegar, we drink it for fat burning or what? Supposedly. Oh, no. Hi, Jenny. Um, Jackie says she used plain water to wash her face. I used to do that, too. Hey, Catherine Downing. Catherine Downing, check out her YouTube channel. Um, I used to use plain water to just wash my face, too. That's what I used to do back in the day. Sabrina says, yes, a teaspoon a day. Leanne says, eight apple cider vinegar is a fat burner. I just might need to try that. 
Um, oh, Jenny's talking about good genes and vitamin C serum. That's what you need, maybe. Okay. Um, yay, not NY uh, Rykin. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. It's Diana says, I'm super sensitive, um, but now normal skin. And only thing I use is Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin Wipes and my Philosophy Miracle Worker Foundation has good skincare stuff in it. Love it. Um, Elizabeth says, P50 for combo skin. And did I miss some things? Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Video looks good. Good. Okay. Um, Krista says, the It Cosmetic CC Cream has been really good for my skin. Not sure if that counts as skincare. I think it does. I like the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Um, e Pure Soul, I actually use a bit of honey to wash my face sometimes in the morning. That is very interesting. I would imagine that would be... I don't know about that. I'll have to trust you on that one because that just does not sound comfortable. Uh, Cheyenne says, buy, Star buys 10 bottles of apple cider vinegar. Hi, Rose. Uh, Jenna says, uh, put it in the fridge to keep and keep it there. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let me see. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Expira makeup. First time you've seen a live YouTube vid. Yay, well, I'm glad you're here, Tiffany. I have the apple cider vinegar tablets, too, if you don't like the taste. Ooh, that's interesting. Good to know. I didn't know that existed. Leslie says, teaspoon apple cider vinegar and 16 ounces of water help with kidney stones. We're learning all about apple cider vinegar. Let's go ahead. Oh, Elise says, please be careful with apple cider vinegar. My grandmother-in-law was taking a tablespoon a day for fat burning and ended up with an ulcer and was in the hospital. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Well, she was saying a teaspoon a day. So let's stick with a teaspoon and not a tablespoon. Let's do that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Goodness gracious. All right, let's do one more from Kathy. My 50-year-old dry skin favorite. That's where we're going. Products are Camp Cosmetics, Illuma Moisturizer, Philosophy Miracle Worker, Skin Science Moisturizer, and Peter Thomas Roth Moisturizer work best for me. Let's get into dry skin. Let's do it. Let's talk about that dry skin. So <laughs> Cheyenne says, cancels order of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> You're so funny, Cheyenne. All right, let's go into that dry skin. Dry skin, skincare. Let's get it. I know, right? And then Leslie said, that's why you dilute the apple cider vinegar and water. Uh, Vicky says, philosophy when hope is not enough. And the Nip Plus Fab Dragon's Blood Fix Hyaluronic Shot for dry skin is what I meant for dry skin. Thank you, Vicky. I appreciate that. Gina says, the Dior Gentle Cleansing Oil, period. That's it but open to a great suggestion. I did just get the 50 point perk Sephora of the Caudalie. Nice, you'll have to tell us how it is, Gina. And then Sabrina says she gets them at GNC. Growling Cheetah says the Caudalie SOS Venusource is great for my dry skin, but expensive. I also use the Garnier Moisture Rescue Gel for dry skin, works well. Uh, T. Nelson, Lumine Dry Skin Cocktail is the only thing that helped my dry skin. And then Tiffany's talking about the Belief Moisture Bomb. Everybody's loving this Belief Moisture Bomb. Sabrina says the tablet. Okay, that's what you get. Okay, so, she, okay, good. I got it. Barbara says get the, what? Don't do that. All right. Okay, Barbara says, get the vinegar on your salad. That's a good idea. Experiment makeup, belief moisturizer, seriously the best for dry skin. It's not thick consistency. Literally feels like water soaking into my skin. Uh, Julie is talking about the honey. She says, you have to get pure raw honey. You dab it on damp skin and then rub and massage it and then rinse completely. I would imagine that would be difficult to rinse off. Wow. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Jessica says, rose oil is amazing for all skin types. Boston Barbie doll, hey! She says, hey girl, missed you, hey all. Did I miss oily skin? Yes. But there will be, <laughs> you won't be able to watch it back, so that's okay. Somebody already gave me a thumbs down. Was it that guy that was in here by accident? I think he gave me a thumbs down. I can't believe that. I got 21 thumbs up and one thumbs down. Thumbs down right in front of my face. Please give it to me when I'm not watching. <laughs> Jenny says, I fell for the QVC sales pitch of the Tatcha. Oh, oh. I missed the rest of it. Hold on. Where's the Tatcha? Okay. Memory serum and moisture spray. I think I live, I think I love it. Wait. I think I live the though. I think I love it though. I think is what she's trying to say. Um, e Pure Soul says, I wet my face and massage a small amount of honey in my face and wash it off. Nice. Uh, Cheyenne says, Believe Aqua Bomb. Elizabeth, I love rosehip oil for my dry skin on my legs. Rose Mountain Herb has the best. 
Bryce, Van Francesca, I like the Alpha H Cleanser with Aloe Vera back in December when my skin was really dry. After this is over, I'm going to put um, time stamps. I'm going to go back through and put time stamps in the description. So if you're missing, um, if you are wanting to go to a specific part of this, then you'll be able to find it easily. Nancy, anyone getting the feeling they need to go slab some moisturizer on their face? I definitely don't. I feel like I am just hydrated right now. Nancy says, anyone getting, oh, I already read that part. Krista says, in the winter, I'm definitely dry AF. I use Vino Hydrating Serum and Aqua Balm by Belief. Um, Catherine says she has a 15-hour drive today. Ooh, girlfriend, I know about 15-hour drives. I'm with you. Hi, Ros Angela. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My friend that took care of me after my break-in. Thank you so much, Ros Angela. Tell your husband we said hello. Ros Angela, it's good to see you. Jenna says Belief Moisture Balm and Bobby Brown Face Mask. Nice. Uh, oh, boop, boop, boop. It keeps skipping down. Okay. Kathy says, I have to try the belief. Never tried it. Thanks. Leslie says, I use the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub on my dry knees and elbows. I just got in my glossy box, the Tree Hut. It's like an oil shaving oil stuff. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I really like it. It's really easy to run the razor over and it feels good. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I need to try more Tree Hut stuff. I used to buy Tree Hut stuff and then I stopped because I started getting all the stuff in subscription boxes and everything. And I stopped buying Tree Hut, but... Yeah, definitely. Shea Sugar Scrub. I'm going to dry these elbows. Nice. Uh, Tiffany says, Jalik Rose Water Spray. Hey, stay all safe. Uh, Lucy, I'll give you a thumbs up. Oh, thank you for my thumbs up. I got a bunch of thumbs up. 53 thumbs up. I'm not asking you for thumbs up, though. Don't think I'm asking you for thumbs up because I could get in big trouble if I'm asking for it. I'm not asking for it. I was just commenting in general. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a strike on my account because I was asking for thumbs up. Um... Let's see, Nancy says, Tiffany Dawn, for sure. If you want to give one, that's fine, but I'm not asking you for it. All right, Boston Barbie Doll Aqua Bomb is on Ipsy Rewards. It is, you're right. Thank you so much for mentioning that. If you have an Ipsy subscription, you can go over and you can use points to get the Aqua Bomb. That's right. Jackie says, um, when are you going to post your final videos from your trip? I'm going to sporadically put them in with beauty content. So the next one, hopefully, will go up tomorrow um, for the vlog. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow would be... Um, Louisiana, um, New Orleans is tomorrow, I believe. Hopefully I can get up tomorrow. It'll be either tomorrow or Monday. It just depends on what happens next. I'm going to my parents today. So after this, we're going to my parents. I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit, but if I do have time to edit, it'll be up tomorrow. And then I'm going to film subscription boxes this week. So we'll have, um, hopefully Ipsy and, and BoxyCharm will go up this week too. That's the plan is to film Monday and have Ipsy and BoxyCharm go up as well. Uh, let's see. Boston Oh my goodness, I keep missing things. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go back up where I was. I know we're almost out of time, Krista. I can't believe it. Okay, there it is. Michelle says, thumbs up here. That dude is insane. I didn't see what he Tabitha timed him out, so I didn't see what he said. <laughs> Steph says, who disliked the video? Don't make me find you. <laughs> the agri mouse. I was always dry until menopause. Now I'm just confused. <laughs> I am, I'm so not looking forward to that. Oh my gosh. Krista says almost out of time. I like your little hourglass. I don't even know how you did that, but it's pretty cool. I know we have like two minutes left. Boston Barbie doll says, get him, Steph. Jenna says, face, face. Diana, when I get dry skin, I am up. Uh, I up my water intake, plus eat more healthy fats like olive oils, etc. I've heard avocados are great for that. Steph's got two eyeballs. She's watching. She's one of our mods. Leslie, I'll have to try that. Nancy says, Tiffany Dawn just sprayed that on my face. I keep a bottle by my bedside. I don't know what you guys are talking about. What was Tiffany talking about? Tiffany Dawn has a great YouTube channel, too. Check out Tiffany Dawn's. The J Jalik Rose Water Spray is what she was talking about. Um, let's see. <laughs> Amanda says, keep moisturizing while we talk. Jenna says, I buy Tree Hut at Kroger. Nice. Uh, and Leza says, I love Tree Hut. Cheyenne, I hate that you had a break in, Jen. I had a scare a few months ago where someone tried to break into my place. Luckily, I have a very nosy and crazy neighbor. She chased him away with a shovel. That is crazy. Good for your neighbor with the shovel. We have a crazy neighbor like that, too. Like, we've got one across the street where she would, she'd just walk up and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> She might go after him with a shovel, though. I don't know. She's pretty. She's awesome, though. She's fantastic. Um, but, yeah, I'm so sorry that that happened to you. It's not any fun. It's not any fun. Um, 
Let's see. Kathy says the Mac Charger water is a nice pick me up when you're feeling really dry, tight during the a day to spray on and keep it in the fridge. Sabrina, the makeup mom, I think YouTube does the timestamp automatically. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna separate the sections though. Like I'm gonna so everybody can find the sections really easily. Um, Grady says I actually love the Tarte Rainforce of the Sea Moisturizer. I got a little three pack and it's all fine, but that moisturizer is killer. Nice. Jenna, I would give you thousands of thumbs up if I could. Thank you, Jenna. Krista, you guys need to try Soda and Company. They, their body scrubs are all natural as well as their body wash and lotion, plus they smell amazing, makes my skin so soft. Nice. And Los Angeles says, great to see you too. Oh, And Marilyn says, everyone ask for a thumbs up. It's not allowed. No, not really. You're not really supposed to do that. You can say, you're not supposed to say, give me a thumbs up. You're not supposed to bargain with people for a thumbs up. Like, oh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like carrots, you know, like, <laughs> Not supposed to do stuff like that. I think you can say if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I think you can do that, but I just try not to do it at all. <laughs> There's weird YouTube rules. I don't know. Thank goodness for neighbors. I know, right? Um, let me see if I missed. Eat water and drink. Drink water and eat cucumbers. Wow, interesting. Um, <laughs> what happened to John's chapstick? I never saw the vlogs. He did finish his chapstick. He did. He did. Hey says, I'm catching up your vlogs, Jen. Love them so far. Your family's so cute. Thank you so much. It was great meeting you too, uh, Rosangela. Um, Cheryl says, anybody tried the Lancome Energy DV line from Sephora? I think that meant Sephora. Um, I haven't. Let me see if I'm missing anything because we got to go. It's 11.01. I can't believe it. My husband wants to go for a run. So I'm going to actually jump off of here while it's slowed down a little bit in comments. Oh, my gosh. My face is so shiny. You can see me from the moon, how shiny I am. I got nothing on my face except for my skincare. So, But anyway, I'm going to go. But I want to thank you guys so much for being here back on chat. I feel like this is one of those chats that everybody can learn something from that's interested in skincare. Um, and I think it's fantastic that you guys are here for it. Thank you so much for being here. And, um, yeah, what's up in makeup today? Make sure you watch it because it's a short one. So that's kind of nice. It's a little bit shorter. Um, some people like the really long ones, but this one's a little bit shorter. And what else I want to tell you? Facebook group, if you want to chat or have more questions about makeup, the Facebook group is group slash what's up in makeup. Um, the app is still going. Um, the app you can download for Apple or Android products. Um, and you just search for what's been makeup. If you can't find it searching for what's been makeup, you can search for Jen Loves Reviews. Uh, let's see, what's on my face? If you want to know what I used on my face makeup wise, you can go to what's been makeup.com. There's a video there. Also, there's um, a list of products from today's show on what's been makeup.com. If you want to know where to buy things, click easy link. What's been makeup.com. Got them all listed there. You can click, 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 click. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for being here. This was a lot of fun. And I will see you guys next week. Mad love. Bye.